Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the uh, fortune of the Queen and the other member of the royal family. A few newspapers or online papers have been talking about that and they're referencing different sources and gave how much a few members of the royal family are worth. So we're going to start with the Queen who is supposed to be worth 1.6 billion pounds. This is in pounds because we are in England. So she's worth that, all that coming from her father and all the trust funds that were given to her when she became queen. She had uh, a lot of land and uh, she, she gets the money from, like I said, the trust funds left to her by her father and becoming a royal. Come after her, her first son, with Prince Charles, was worth $100 million. Prince Andrew, which is surprising actually, is worth $57 million. Prince Philip is worth $44 million. Prince Edward is $35 million. Prince Williams and Prince Harry are said to be worth $30 million. Zara Phillips is said to be worth $15 million. Kate Middleton is said to be worth $8 million. Meghan Markle is said to be worth $6 million. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie are said to be worth $9 million. It explain where that money comes from. Uh, for example, for the Queen, like I said, she's coming from her trust fund and the various duchies that she has and land that she rents to the public. Now, we have Prince William and Prince Harry. Apparently, they got their wealth from the Queen Mother. When she passed away, she gave them £70 million in a trust fund. On top of that, they received each $20 million from Princess Diana when she died. I think that this uh, is uh, greatly miscalculated. So, another thing that struck me is that um, Princess Anne is not on the list, and we don't know how much money she has. And uh, the fact that Zara, Zara Phillips is worth 15 million pounds, which is very surprising. She's said to be getting $500,000 per year as a, as a representative for various brands. And so maybe after some years, it kind of accumulated and rounded up to uh, 15 million pounds. I'm not so sure. Meghan Markle, 6 million pounds. I'm not surprised because before she married Harry, Forbes magazine had said that she was worth around that amount, five million pounds at the time. But uh, now she's worth six million pounds. And it comes from all her roles and being paid 500,000 pounds per check per year for playing Rachel Zane in legal drama suits. And also she had around 600,000 pounds worth of jewelry. So that's what she's worth. The one that actually struck me and really made me think that this list is not correct, is that Kate Middleton is eight million pounds rich. So to be honest, I'm not trying to diss her. I'm not trying to put her down, but I'm kind of surprised she's that rich because she she hasn't worked a day in her life. She came from money, but according to Forbes magazine, her family's money is around eight to nine million pounds. So how come she's richer than her own family? And where does she get that money if she only married into uh, the royal family with only 14,000 pounds in her bank account as it was stated when she got married? So maybe the Daily Mail is associating her family's fortune to, to her, passing it for hers when she actually doesn't have that kind of money. And why would the Daily Mail do that? Why don't they just say the truth, which is that she doesn't have that kind of money and she shouldn't be on that list? I'm not sure why they're trying to uh, pass her for, sorry to say that again, for the fans of Kate Middleton, for what she's not. It was proven that she only had $14,000 when she came into the royal family and her family is only worth £9 million. So I was quite surprised by the £8 million that it was quoted that she had in that newspaper. As for Megan, I'm not surprised. For Zara Philip, I was quite surprised as well. Zara Tyndall, I was quite surprised. But they say that she's receiving a lot of money for sponsorship for Rolex and Land Rover. I'm not surprised for Eugenie and her sister. $3.8 million makes sense. They got $1.4 million from the Queen Mother when she died. So this is my take on how much the family's worth. It's just to say to people who uh, said that Meghan Markle didn't have money when she got into the royal family. She had her own money. She had £5 million. Pounds. It's not a lot of money, but it's still a lot compared to us, us normal people who have barely $2,000 or pounds monthly in their bank account. So she didn't come there with only her shirt on her back. She has something to stand and be proud of. What's interesting is that of all those people, she worked hard for her money. She went to auditions. She did things. She had a brand uh, agreement with uh, Reitman, or Reitman, which is the biggest retailer in Canada. And at the time, they were saying that it was worth close to $2 million. So 
this is great because it proved the fact that she had her own money and she did not come in the wider family empty-handed like some people want to believe so this is my take on fortune of the royal family please feel free to click on like if you like it also comment if you have something to add or if you don't agree with me